The Hate Army stands with you thick and thin. Hate Army General, your name is Hate Army? Shout out to Hate Army. You're saying Hate Army shit. Hate Army shout out. Good vibes to the Hate Army. Shout out for Hate. <laughs> no. Shout out to the Sanctuary Project. We did a super chat says, would you consider doing a creator boxing event? No. I'm not someone who does stunts and gimmicks and stupid shit to make money and get attention on the internet. I'm not into the drama culture. If you haven't noticed, uh, I just don't want to be involved in any of that shit at all in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I actually think it's quite embarrassing uh, to content creation as a whole to even be fucking involved in it. So, no, I'm not going to be doing that stuff. Anyone else who wants to do it? Good on you. It's your ability. It's your prerogative. You want to jump on that gravy train of money because people want to see two content creators who are unfit beat the shit out of each other in a terrible, unsanctioned, unofficial, sloppy boxing match and everyone laughs at you? Go for it. I can't stop you. But I, I will not participate in that kind of crap. That is dumb stuff in my opinion. Okay? <clears throat> Would I ever go on Caleb Hammer's Financial Audit, a YouTube channel that explains personal finance? No. I'm done with this. Okay, I am. Like, I've, I've officially made it known, and I'm done. I'm not doing interviews. I'm not going on any shows. I'm not talking about anything personal behind the scenes whatsoever. I'm done with it. Because, obviously, I cannot be treated fairly by anyone on YouTube because everyone has an agenda. Everyone has some kind of thing where they're going to try to spin my story into personal gain for themselves at my expense. I'm done with it. So, no, you come to DSP Gaming, you come to DSP React, you're going to see fun content on those channels appropriate. Here you're going to see gameplay and podcasting. Over on DSP React, you're going to see fun reviews. You're going to see me reacting to clips. You're going to see me doing long-form reacts to documentaries. And that's what you're going to see, the content that I want to put out on the internet. You're not going to see any drama about behind-the-scenes bullshit because no one needs to know about behind-the-scenes bullshit. It's none of anyone's business. And, uh, you know, everyone seems to want to lie and make me feel look, look terrible and feel terrible but look terrible uh for their own personal gain so i'm done with it completely 100 percent. there will be no more of that ever i mean it like we're done i got to the point where now i feel like i know this sounds really stupid but i just feel like i can't trust anyone even people who you would think would be 100 percent trustworthy i feel like i can't trust anyone like no matter what someone will do something to get benefit out of me being involved with it that they get over and i get screwed so i'm done it's just a end all be all definitively no across the board don't no one should take it personal because it's not personal it's just i'm not gonna fucking waste time on it and i'm not gonna you know put myself into any kind of risk or any kind of stress over it i'm done you know people had the opportunity to treat me nicely right and not be scumbags and they took advantage of that they sadly ruined it anyone else sorry anyone else was interested in me man maybe i would have liked to, to do something with dsp in the future Sorry, those it, it got ruined by assholes, you know. Now you know who to blame, you know. People just don't want to treat me like everyone. Everyone else gets a fair shake, you know. That's that's what really gets me. Because, for example, I'll just, just to, I know this is just going to be very brief, I promise you. Okay, it will be very brief. Now, I'm on the interview. And this is what's resonated with me, how it's completely hypocritical and unfair because everyone treats me one way, but everyone else gets treated a different way, Correct. So I'm in the interview, and they bring Keemstar on, which, again, a lot of people have said a lot of things about that, that's for sure, how unfair that was, but personally, I allowed it to happen, all right? And they basically said, isn't it funny, because when Keemstar was on the interview with you, okay, and basically they say, oh, Phil, well, don't you see, Keemstar is the same as you, he has haters just like you. And I said, no, but he has haters because he's actually done documented bad things, and he said something like, well, how do you know about that? I was like, don't you see? There's there's a million documentaries about you all over the internet. And they're like, yeah, but there's documentaries about you on the internet too, right? You're right, but here's the difference. He has documented factual things he said and did that were horrible. He said awful takes about mental illness. He's literally, you know, attacked people, hounded them for no good reason besides his own personal benefit. It's all well documented. The whole Etika situation that happened. The situation of, you know, calling one person a pedophile who wasn't and them getting harassed for years and years because of it. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's just like the things that come to, to the front of your mind about all other horrible things the guy has done too. When you talk about the drama about me, it's all hearsay. It's all circumstantial. It's all bullshit. You can pull out of context clips and say he's done this bad, he's done this bad. 
Literally nothing I've done has ever been as bad as what's documented been done by Keen. Okay? But here's where this pisses me off. All right? It's hypocritical because you literally just said, well, you see, Keem's the same as you. He has haters and he has documentaries about him. Okay, so why is it okay f to believe everything he says? He literally says none of it's true and you believe him and now he's your buddy, right? But not me, right? I can't, if I defend myself, I'm a liar. But this guy, you believe everything he says, right? Like literally everything he fucking says is, is factually true. Why? Because he's big, he's popular, and he's rich. So because if I were big, popular, and rich, then guess what? Everyone would believe me too because that's really what, it, what it's down to. It's completely hypocritical nonsense, right? It's bullshit. And it's totally not fair that people judge me like that. So you see? So that's, that's my reasoning. No, I'm not going to go on someone else's show about finances. No, I'm not going to do this. I'm done. I'm literally done because no matter where I go, I'm not going to get a fair shake. Everyone else gets treated differently than me on the internet. Literally every other person. At this point, I'm not shitting you. I feel like Wings of Redemption and Boogie would probably get treated better than me. I do. I feel that way. So, even LT fucking G. It's lo low to God. I feel would probably get treated better than me. And you can look at the stuff that they've done that's documented versus the stuff that I've done that's all I'm accused of. But it's not documented anything. You know, whatever. I'm done with it. So, that's that. Done with all the bullshit. Not going to anyone's show. We're just sticking to my own shit. Fair enough? I hope so, because I don't care. If you don't believe, if you don't believe, you know, if you don't, oh, no, I think, I don't care. I don't care what you think. I'm done. I'm here to make content for my audience and have fun with you guys and not be in drama anymore. I'm not going to be treated unfairly by everyone on the internet just because I'm not Mr. Popular and I'm not Mr. Moneybags to line your pockets with money so you'll like me. Sorry, I can't, you know, not about that. I can't do that. So I guess I'll just make content for my audience and be happy uh, in my own level down here on level one, right? Forever. And I'm cool with that. You know? All right. Continuing on. Excuse me. The Sanctuary Project is Super Chat. Again, Sanctuary Project, I'm not involving myself in any kind of drama whatsoever. So literally what you're saying it doesn't even have anything to do with me. I'm serious. It's bullshit. Thanks for the Super Chat. Anime Slayer to the Super Chat. I don't know who you're talking about, Anime Slayer. So I'm not even going to say that. How about that? Trey Smacks did a super chat. Now, here we go. This is what's hilarious. Do you think the problem is you instead of everyone else? There has to be some type of correlation. Here's the correlation. I just, I just explained it, okay? I'm not rich. I'm not popular. And I absolutely refuse to involve myself with the drama, right? What's happening right now is people are trying to pull me into this realm of drama, all right? They're, they're literally 100% trying to get me involved in their culture of online drama, toxicity, hate. They want me involved in it. They want to pull me in for personal gain. And, you know, I've never done that. I've always said, <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. I've never wanted to make this kind of content. I don't, you know, I don't like it. I think it's just slapping people back and forth. It's a waste of time. It's a way to get immature people to watch your shit. And it's a way to make money. It's true. It's very profitable. The online drama community is hugely profitable because people are immature and they'll reward more immaturity. But I don't want to do that. Why do you think... People are so upset because they want me in that shit. They're trying to pull me in and I refuse. I absolutely refuse to play ball with them, right? So now I'm going to be the whipping boy of the internet, you know? Well, guess what? Well, you know, oh well, that's what happens. You don't play ball, all of a sudden you become the villain, right? It's been like this for 10 years, man. I don't want to play ball with the online bullshit. <clears throat> That's hilarious, David, because now you're banned because I've already you already know the difference and you're just being a jerk and you can get out of here because you already know the difference. You know well why my stuff is different and I'm not doing drama content. Uh, Dark... No, excuse me. I skipped uh, Super Chat. Uh, Kevin did a Super Chat. He says, you made lots of good points. Um, just didn't like the... So basically, Kevin, in a nutshell, is saying he didn't like that they brought Keem into the interview the other day. They feel like there's an internet blood sport with him. Yeah, to him, again, why don't I want to be involved with Keemstar? Because literally for him, there's nothing off the table. To him, it doesn't matter to what means or level you drop yourself as long as there's some kind of drama and popularity and you make money doing it. That's what he's all about. And some people are okay with that. I'm not. I'm just not. I, I ref I'm not. No, I don't want to do internet celebrity 
<clears throat> content creator boxing. No, I don't want to watch a match of two content creators boxing. No, I don't want to be involved with drama. I don't want to be involved with a documentary. I don't want to be involved with nothing. I just want to fake, fucking make content on the internet and be left alone. All the shit these people are on me for now is shit that literally has 0% to do with me or my content. Zero. Zero. It has nothing to do with me playing Metroid Prime. has nothing to do with me playing Resident Evil. has nothing to do with DSP versus the internet. has nothing to do with me reacting to a documentary. It has nothing to do with me. They just want to pull bullshit, right, into the limelight that has nothing to do with anyone's business. Why? Because it's dramatic. Because your personal demons, your closet of skeletons is, oh, it's dramatic. Let's pull it out and let, you know what I'm saying? It's bullshit, especially when it's fabricated. That's the worst part is when it's not even based on something you've done. It's based on people, things, shit people made up and just kept exacerbating worse and worse over the years because you didn't address it because you refused to entertain the bullshit. So I'm not, I'm not wasting my time on any of it anymore. Again, I'm done with it. You can't, you can try as much as you want. It ain't happening. Okay. So there you go. <clears throat> Ruffian Forever, no one is talking about this. And if you continue to talk about it, I'm going to take, get you out of the chat. Like literally no one is talking about drama, but you, why are you bringing up drama shit? No one cares. I've already explained. I'm done with it. Okay. Stop it. <clears throat> Shia, I'm glad. She said, I'm here for gameplay, not drama. Me too. Me too, and I'm the one doing the stream. <laughs> so, you're in the right place. <clears throat> Nana, if you keep spamming me, I'm going to ban you too. You have to stop with the nonsense. No, I'm not unbanning someone who was just being a jerk in the chat and got banned. I'm not instantly unbanning them. There's various means people can get unbanned. You're not the person to campaign for someone else to get unbanned. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, hold on a second here. Much better. Stupid frog in my throat. Okay.